In this lesson, we're going to learn how to overcome difficult geometry that we may come across while modeling. All right, so we've created our doors, and there could be a chance that we have uh, some difficult geometry to overcome. Uh, specifically, when starting out in the modeling process, we may have shapes like this door that are very angular. Okay, There are no round shapes in it. But what happens if we want to implement some sort of round shape into a design like this? How can we fit that in there? Because what normally happens is the topology doesn't match up very well. And uh, it can be very difficult to replicate those shapes. Now, if we break it down, it's a little bit easier to overcome. So I'm going to create these circular shapes on our door to kind of create this kind of a, an emergency handle type of thing. Okay. Now before I move on, I want to change the shape of my door just a little bit. I want to give it a little bit more room for something like that to fit in. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of these vertices right here in the middle. So if I go to my front view and hit F3, and I'm just going to select all of these except for the outside verts, and I'm just going to scale those in toward one another. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing for the top door here. Go to vertex mode and select all of those vertices except for the outside ones. And we're just going to scale those in and try to match that up to our door here. So if I hit F3 and take a look at that, you'll see that that's pretty close. You might want to scale that back out a little bit. Okay. Okay, so just trying to get that shape. You may have to do a little bit more reshaping, which is pretty simple to do. We'll go to our move tool and we'll pull this up here. Okay, do the same thing here. Okay, all right. So now that we've fixed that, I want to uh, kind of readjust some of the topology here at the bottom door. So go to vertex mode, and if I go to my front view, I want to go ahead and take these vertices right in here, and I just want to drop that down some. And actually, you know what, I'm going to take these vertices here and I'm going to bring those up just so this is kind of even across the sides here. All right, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and start talking about getting that difficult geometry, that circular shape in here. Well, one way that I could do this is to simply cut on the object and cut out a circular shape in the topology and then figure out the topology after I've got that shape in to the object. So I'm going to go to vertex mode, and I'm going to go ahead, well actually let's create our shape. Let's go ahead and go to splines under our create panel, and let's create a circle shape right here on our object. I'm going to go ahead and create it right about here or so, and I want to make sure that my interpolation, uh, the steps are set to 1. Now they might be at a default value of like 6, and you're getting this very round shape, but that's going to be very difficult to create a lot of vertices along this shape here. So we want to make it manageable. So if that means bringing it down to a lower resolution, so be it. It's just going to be so much easier to work this way. So turn off circle by right clicking and let's go ahead and select our lower door and we're going to turn on our snaps. Now I'm going to right click and make sure that this is set up properly and I want to go to my vertex snapping. What this is going to allow me to do is to go to my vertex mode on my lower door, right click and cut, and it will snap to the vertices of this circle. And it's going to make things so much easier. So if I come in here and I start right on this vertex and I cut all the way around, okay, I can come through here and cut on each individual vertex and stop where I started, and then I'll right click and then we'll go to our perspective view and you'll see that we've cut a circle out of our object. Now what I can do is go ahead and get rid of that circle and just deal with the topology now. So I'm going to come in here, I'm going to right click and cut all of my topology. So I'm going to cut straight across from that vertex right there in the middle and then I'm going to cut from here down to this point. There we go. And then I'm going to go from this vertex, so right click and cut, 
from here up to here and then I'm going to cut from here out to the edge. We'll cut from this vertex down to here and then we'll end from here to here. All right. So now if you need to come in here and make some adjustments you can do so and it's best to make these adjustments before um, you go ahead and get the details on the other side. Let's go ahead and turn off our snapping and I'm just going to just kind of move this around a little bit try to even this out some. All right so I'm happy with that topology. Now I want to get this same detail on the other side so I'm going to use symmetry to help me out with that. So if I select these edges right down the center and I use connect and have the pinch and slide zeroed out it will create a segment right down the middle and all I have to do is go to vertex mode select all of the vertices on this side of the door and delete those and then I can select the vertice or the edges along the center and apply symmetry now that's created that detail on the other side and I don't have to recut all of that so now all I have to do is go to edible poly let's show end results so we can see the other side while we're working and we can add in our detail as needed. Now this can pose some issues whenever we are um, smoothing. Okay, So if we're going to smooth out this door there could be some issues that arise and we're going to have to deal with those as we go along. So whenever we get complex shapes there becomes more complex problems. This is all part of the process. Let's go ahead and create um, an indention right in here. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude straight back and let's go to something like negative 0 0.05 and actually let's do negative 0 0.08. We'll hit OK on that and then I'm going to add some segments in here because I know that I'm going to be smoothing this. So if I just go ahead and add these segments now I won't have to worry about it later. So one on the inside toward the back and one on the inside toward the front and then I'm going to go around the outside of this circle here. You'll notice it starts to create some very difficult geometry. It starts to stretch out here and that can be some issues. So I'm going to go to vertex mode and I'm going to constrain to edge and I'm just going to move these down a little bit closer to that original cut. Okay. So if I just move those into position, try to make this a little bit easier on myself. Okay, and let's go ahead and deal with these that are way out there. Pull that up closer, and there's one right over here. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off those constraints and just kind of even this out some. So we'll pull this down right around in here. Okay and we should be pretty good. Now there is one more cut that I need to make right here on the inside so I'm going to select this vertex and this one because that's a six-sided polygon. I need to go ahead and connect to create a segment. Now it's not going to connect because of that edge right there in the middle so I need to cut. So I'm going to cut from here to the middle and then across to this vertex. That should take care of that issue. All right, so now let's take a look at this smooth out. So with above our symmetry, let's apply turbo smooth. And you'll see that that circular shape has stayed. And because we've added in that geometry first, uh, this is going to be a lot smoother. Okay, so on more difficult shapes like this, always take care of their topology first and then come in and start taking care of the topology uh, around some of these harder edges. So let's go ahead and turn on Isoline Display. Let's go to Edible Poly, make sure Show End Result is on, and I'm going to go to Edge Mode and use Swift Loop and start cutting in some of this geometry to kind of harden up some of these edges. Okay, so I'm going around these edges here, hardening up some of this geometry. Okay, come right here across the middle and underneath and then we're going to go across just like so it's going to harden that up now some of these loops are going to go up through our circle and we want to try to avoid those as much as possible because what's going to happen 
is it's going to start to warp that geometry. So I need a segment right here, okay? But I don't want it to be right here, right next to this line, because that's going to cause some issues. Let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So you can see here that it's created a peak in that circle because these vertices are so close together. So I'm going to hit Control Z one time, and I'm going to cut right here in the middle of that. And that seems to handle it a little bit better. And then we'll go to vertex mode, and I'll simply constrain that movement to the edges and then just pull that up and put it where it needs to be. And you'll see that that begins to tighten up. So then in my front view, you can see that our circle begins to flatten off just a little bit. All I have to do is raise that up. Now let's make sure that we turn off our constraints. And I just have to raise that up a little bit just to kind of get that roundness back again. You may have to move some of these points around to get that exactly the way it was before. And this is all part of the process. Again, when you get more complex shapes, you get more complex problems. Okay, so looking at the shape of our door, maybe a couple of things that we want to take care of. But I think overall we're doing pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and add in one more loop right here across the bottom to harden that up. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's turn that off and let's hit F4 just to see what this looks like. Okay, may have to come in and do just a little bit more work on some of these points. We forgot to take these down to round that out some. Okay, and again, may not be absolutely perfect, but you're awful close. Okay come in and move some more of these around, just kind of space this out some, and that should help. All right, so here we go. We've got our complex shape in here. We have our door. Uh, we could go ahead and we could smooth out this object using Turbo Smooth. Now this one's going to be a lot easier simply because we don't have those complex shapes. So we can come in uh, bump up our iterations on our Turbo Smooth and do Ice Line Display just to make it a little bit more appealing and easier to see. And then we could use Swift Loop. And we could cut across those edges that need to be harder. So cutting across those curves. Okay, now this one's going to be a little more difficult. So we're going to cut up above that. There we go. And then we'll cut here. And here, do the same thing on this side. And then we'll go across the top and just kind of harden that up there. Okay. All right, so looking good. Let's go ahead and turn off our edge mode. We've smoothed out that door. We've got those uh, elements that we wanted in there. And in our next lesson, we're going to take a look at scene organization.